Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home, Campus Life. My name's Greg. As we all know, manufacturers of uh, trailers, they do not generally try to optimize the storage in your trailer. They want to build it, get out the door, sell it so they can build the next one and do the same thing. Now, us RVers, we got to figure out where we're going to put stuff and try to store it in place. Now, we've had this for a couple years now. And as I was moving some stuff around, I looked and I went, just a 99 cent piece. That's what it cost me. And we're going to do it. And I'm going to show you underneath the sink in the kitchen, right here. Okay. We got the P trap coming down. See how it's blocking all this usable space back here? Now, we do put stuff back there, but it's hard to get to. You know, it's kind of that stuff that, you know, whenever. But look, if we took this and we spun it around to where the P was over on this side. Oops, sorry. You know, we might have to do a little fudge and a little cutting right here or something like that on this, which is not doing much except for keeping stuff from falling down, right? But we swing that around, and then look, we're gonna we're gonna gain all that extra space. And I already have something that I'm gonna use. I've got one of these little bins right here. I can sit there and it's got extra soaps, bug spray, look at our dry Z air, refills and stuff. Now, once I do that, I'm gonna have room to put it right back there. So let me get you set up and get this done. It's simple, let me find, ah, oh, here it is. got the coupling it's an inch and a half ABS coupling that's what size this is pipe is right here I've actually just grabbed a coping saw out of the shop um, first thing I saw just needs to be something to cut the pipe okay you can actually use a little back saw hand saw hackley hack, <laughs> hack saw um, if you want it's not that you know what? You can actually use a piece of string too. One of these days, I'll show you that trick. But so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to whack it. I'm going to we're going to come in right down here, and we're going to cut in this area right here. Then we'll go ahead, spin everything around, get it all in place, and then glue it back in place. That's simple, really. Gain us some room. Especially on you 202RD uh, Coleman Lanterns. If this is the same style you have, cost me 99 cents at the local hardware store. Oh, and some uh, ABS cement for black pipe. So, set you up, let's go. And yes, the straighter the cut, the better is going to be. That will be very suffice. There is ample room for gluing. All right, so we got that part released. Okay, let's go up top and move that stuff around. All right, well, there's going to be some hand operations. So your P-trap nuts. Real easy to loosen up. Look at that. So then we can take this, spin around now. Like I said, we might have to nibble away right there. There we go. Now we're not going to want to glue that just yet. Now we'll clean those edges up real quick, get those burrs off, and then we will. What did I do with it? I'll come back at you as soon as I find all my parts and pieces again. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, pipe that I cut. Went ahead and put the coupler in place just to 
for temporary. I'm just mocking it up right now, making sure everything's gonna work. And then I spun the P-trap around like that. And actually, I mean, for me, it actually fit pretty darn perfect. Now, let's swing, let's throw this around just so we got some room there. Let's take this and put that back in. Let's put that in there. Look at that. Then we keep our cleaning supplies in there. So there's our cleaning supplies. We still got room. See what else? Oh, we had, I think we actually had some rubber gloves in there before at the very back, but I think those probably can go down here because we don't use them that often, right? But look at that. We've just improved, or we can even go, maybe, like that, so we can have some right there if we want. Still got some room right here to do something with. And I'm just looking at what uh, we had. I'm just looking at what came out of there. And uh, I increased ever so slightly, but you know what is more optimized? And looks better, easier to get to. You know, we can take that out if we have to. We can get to these. Folks, that is a win. That is really a win. Now all I gotta do is actually just take the coupler off that I bought, which was 99 cents, put some ABS solvent on it, which is ABS cement, glue it back together right in the position that it's in. And the product's done. I mean, you can water test it, uh, but I mean, that really never gonna hold water right there. It's gonna just run down past it unless you decide to plug up your gray tank or something. We're not gonna go there yet. No, we'll never go there, right? We're gonna make sure that that's always good. So anyways, all right, we're back. We've got everything installed, glued up. Just like right down there, we got that all glued up. Come back up. There it is. There you got the before picture and the after picture. How much more room we've got. Oh, very easy, 99 cent piece. You know, if you don't have any ABS cement, cost you a couple bucks there, a little hacksaw. In a few minutes of your time, uh, quick and easy. Just uh, make sure that you have the right glue uh, for the job. Uh, before you uh, glue anything, test fit it, dry fit everything. Um, if it's something that might be outside of your uh, level of comfort to do but you want it done maybe get a hold of a plumber or somebody that's capable otherwise tell you what folks simple job gave us that much more storage or uh better utilization of our storage win-win so if you got anything out of the video if you liked it please hit the like button share and subscribe until next time we see each other happy camping